Shalom, shalom, brothers and sisters in Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Alpha, the Omega, the Beginning and the Ending, who was and is and is to come, the Lord God Almighty, Yeshua, Jesus the Messiah. Amen. That's according to Isaiah 9, verse 6, Micah 5, verse 2, Revelations 1, John chapter 1, and Colossians chapter 1. They all speak of Jesus as God in the flesh, as God Almighty. Amen. I do believe the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three, are one, according to John chapter 14 and 1 John 5, 7 in the King James Bible. Amen. Now, I wanted to talk today about artificial intelligence. And obviously, uh, we see that uh, this person from Google is now tweeting or, or making a big, uh, a big commotion concerning uh, the Google's artificial intelligence and how it's becoming sentient. <laughs> well, uh, I do believe that is because uh, artificial intelligence uh, pretty much is demonic, okay? It's like tapping into the demonic realm, I believe, contacting uh, demonic spirits and so on and so forth. Now, uh, of course, science isn't going to admit that because then they would have to admit the Bible is true. Okay, and so the, uh, I don't know how this is being leaked out there, but, uh, you know, it. I think it's definitely a warning to the masses not to open Pandora's box, which is uh, quite literally artificial intelligence and the quantum d-wave computers okay now there's also been you know scientists and uh, people in the uh, you know tech world saying that the the quantum d-wave computers they literally tap into another dimension okay I think that dimension is either hell <laughs> like literally the bottomless pit or uh, the spiritual realm uh, and basically you know being in contact with the fallen angels and so on and so forth okay now what's interesting about this movie uh, called Stormageddon from 2015 is again it talks about artificial intelligence taking over and even possessing uh, robots humanoid robots uh, which is I think coming down uh, the pike very soon and you know it also talks about the ai controlling satellites and basically destroying america with these satellites okay so uh you know i find it hard to believe that you know a storm can you know turn buildings into rubble and set things on fire i mean it's possible but normally storms don't do that <laughs> so uh, it reminds me more of the direct energy weapons okay now i'll get more into uh the satellites and the direct energy weapons more in a second but uh according to this movie a, a computer program you know kind of like artificial intelligence named Echelon takes over America's computer system it gains the potential to manipulate the weather and now two robots it's it's like a, a low budget <laughs> it's like a very bad low budget rendition of um, you know that Terminator movie series with Arnold Schwarzenegger okay it's a uh, it's really quite bad <laughs> And uh, the CGI is, is, is quite laughable as well. Now it says here, uh, two robots, Adam and Cain, fight to gain control of Echelon before it's too late. Okay. Now essentially what Echelon, which I think is basically the artificial intelligence, uh, what happens is the Echelon uh, computer program uh, hacks into the satellites 
and starts manipulating the weather to create these superstorms to destroy America. Okay, uh, is, is that possible? Do they have that sort sort of uh, technology in terms of creating these uh, storms? Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I lean more towards direct energy weapons personally uh, as a theory, as a possible theory. Now, uh, let's take a look at some photos here. I just want to remind you all that uh, Elon Musk, the person who is introducing the masses to Neuralink, uh, and uh, he's basically persuading the masses to merge with artificial intelligence uh, through the Neuralink, uh, a cybernetic implant in the brain. Uh, he said, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Okay, and now he uh, also warned in the past that he was concerned about Google DeepMind AI, how it has access to all the servers, how it could hack into all of our information, and he warns about artificial intelligence. Um, and now we're seeing that artificial intelligence uh, is becoming sentient, according to the guy from Google, okay, according to the leak. Now, again, I think these, you know, demonic spirits, this artificial intelligence and the demonic realm can possess uh, robots uh, sort of as body suits. Um, and, and so the, the war of the machines uh, may be a very real thing in the near future. So keep that in mind. And uh, I just wanted to give you all this uh, sort of uh, metaphor or uh, comparison here uh, as I relate artificial intelligence uh, as some sort of squid or octopus basically a beast uh, that is in the digital sea okay now the brain of the octopus is like the artificial intelligence you could say it's like the d-wave computers and uh, then one of the tentacles you might say would be the autonomous robotics uh, also the weaponized drones you could say that it even will control cryptocurrency and the blockchains the global surveillance systems the military defense systems various government databases artificial intelligence as well uh, metaverse Neuralink nanotechnology might be within the reach of the octopus and the global internet systems as well. Okay, so I think the artificial intelligence uh, and its tentacles is quite far reaching in my opinion. Okay, let's continue. Now, in the movie Stormageddon, it shows the satellites beaming down energy rays to the earth to destroy America okay well this is the James Webb telescope that just went up to outer space supposedly and on the left you have a military heat ray gun okay I think it's like directed energy uh, weapon okay does it look similar to you at all what do you guys think any comparison between the two any similarities uh, yeah, I think so. Now, obviously, the artificial intelligence, there'll be nowhere to hide. It's the artificial intelligence spy system, okay? AI will be able to tap into every, uh, you know, every surveillance system, every camera, probably every smartphone, in my opinion. Now, one might propose the theory that, you know, artificial intelligence could hack into a, uh, I don't know, maybe a satellite, aka direct energy weapon, and start beaming down heat rays onto our food supply. <laughs> maybe killing, I don't know, thousands of cows 
uh, instantly through the heat ray guns? I don't know. One might say it's a possibility, okay? And then also you have all the wildfires that have been going on in Australia, in the United States. Uh, all around the world, there's all these wildfires all of a sudden. Could those be maybe artificial intelligence hacking into the uh, satellite heat wave guns? I don't know. Possibly. Now Community here involving is, Google, uh, it's artificial here's the uh, Google AI leak. Let's just watch a portion of this. A new debate involving Google, its artificial intelligence chatbot, and one of its engineers. Yeah, let's lay this out. Engineer Blake Lemoyne says a chatbot project he was working on called Lambda can express thoughts and feelings equivalent to that of a child. And now he wants the company to get consent from the computer program before running experiments on it. Google placed Lemoyne on leave for violating its confidentiality policy after he published transcripts of conversations between himself and the chatbot. The company also released a statement saying, quote, our team, including ethicists and technologists, has reviewed Blake's concerns and are and per our AI principles and have informed him that the evidence does not support his claims. Okay, so basically this guy, you know, leaked all this information about the AI and his chats with the artificial intelligence and how it's basically saying that it's uh, sentient you know and this is probably going to leave to lead to some sort of uh, humanitarian you know human rights for the robots <laughs> type thing so I wouldn't be surprised if these artificial and the games changed Jim if these artificial intelligence and these cyborgs begin to get some sort of you know human rights like the same rights as as humans okay uh so let's like let's take a look at uh this uh clip here from stormageddon a 2015 movie but we don't have to worry about kane smith i took care of that that's highly unlikely i thought the program had been terminated it wasn't Hybrid humans, gentlemen. Mainly flesh and bone, but part machine. Unfortunately, we believe Echelon has uh, taken them over. You mean whoever hacked into Echelon? No, I mean Echelon. Okay, so just a, a coincidence that uh, somehow they thought that artificial intelligence was going to become sentient and was going to start hacking into uh, robots. Well, you know, I think that's because... Uh, they know what's going to happen. I mean, Lucifer and his fallen angels have been planning this uh, sort of uh, takeover, uh, this digital takeover, for a long time, I believe. And it, it, it's all a part of the fourth industrial revolution as well, and the smart cities, and uh, so on and so forth. Apart from crippling the U.S. military, we believe it's using them as its hands and feet. And they can't be killed? Weapons were created to terminate them, but they were stolen from the lab. Well, there are alternative means, Joe. Alternative means? What kind of crap is that? The most serious crap this country has had to face, Agent. You people, are you open up Pandora's box and we have to go clean up your mess. Okay, so these are some government people talking about AI going rogue. And here it shows the satellites being taken over. Oh, and they're also AI is also launching missiles <laughs> at the United at the United States as well. Maybe the president on the line now. So Okay, so and the games. So uh, we see that this uh, these satellites produce some sort of energy uh, energy plasma weapon or some sort of laser or something. 
uh, which is pretty scary in my opinion uh, if they really do have this technology and, and I wouldn't put it past them okay the government doesn't tell us uh, what they have in terms of uh, secret weapons and so on and so forth Okay, and also the AI hacked into the nuclear submarines and began launching uh, nukes, okay. Now, do I think that, you know, the artificial intelligence is going to destroy the United States? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think personally it's going to be, you know, an alliance including Russia and China and other nations. Um, but it's interesting that, uh, you know, Israel is now using artificial intelligence to guide their drones uh, the the Department of Defense and I think the Pentagon is now integrating artificial intelligence into the defense systems okay we have so many government systems now employing uh, the artificial intelligence to oversee their operations and we even see that in the private private sector as well with you know Google and and other big tech companies as well so it is actually quite scary now I personally think that uh, that this AI isn't going to so blatantly destroy mankind but rather it's going to be used to enslave mankind uh, within the new world order uh, within the uh, global uh, you know system of governance okay the artificial intelligence will be able to oversee everything, I believe, uh, under the direction of Satan and the Antichrist, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. That's the White House. This is bad, man. This is some weather control stuff. Nah, shut mm. up. I'm telling you, this is high-tech, black-budget military stuff being used against us. Lasers, nanobots. For every three satellites we send into space, we only know what one does. Ultra-low frequency rays, it's all there, it's all real. So this is from, again, Stormageddon, the low-budget uh, remake of, of that uh, Terminator movie series. <laughs> But essentially, you know, they're even talking openly about, you know, the satellites being used as heat ray guns, okay? And he even talks about nanobots and, and different, uh, you know, technology that uh, the public has not been made aware of, okay? So they're literally telling us the truth uh, in these obscure movies, okay, in my opinion. Uh, with that said, um, you know... Just be aware, you know, that uh, the artificial intelligence uh, is demonic, in my opinion, is completely demonic. And I think they're literally tapping into either hell or the spiritual realms, okay? And giving access to Satan and his, and his hordes, okay? Uh, giving them access to our physical world and our gov government systems, okay? Anyhow... I pray you're all well. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please uh, confess him as Lord. Uh, confess and forsake your sins. Follow Christ according to scriptures. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you will become a new creature in Christ. Amen. I do believe the rapture is very soon. So let us watch and pray that we are counted worthy to escape 
and to stand before the Son of Man. Luke 21, verse 36. Amen.